Hello everyone and welcome to part 16. Today we're going to do some really exciting stuff because we are going to use some new code inside the game. And I don't know why this is open. We are going to draw a text but from a sprite. So let me just load these sprites that I'm going to use. It's from 0 to 9. We are going to draw the moves. So I'll just name this sprite moves font. Then, if we come to object brain in the create event, we are going to use this variable. You know, we had this alpha1 and count. Actually, I'm not going to use them anymore. They are dead for me. So, here we, go. we are going to say... First, let's make it big. Okay. We're going to say moves font. This is the variable. Equals font add sprite extended. What this does, it creates a font, all right? And it creates a font from sprites. So we tell, uh, we give the sprites. It's just one sprite, but it has uh, many sub images. Then we give the reference that we have, the map of the strings, of the string itself. So we have from zero to nine exactly in this specific order so we are going to say from 0 to 9 then we have this then we have the proportion and I want to set this to be true I wanted to save the proportion then I have this as negative 6 I don't know ah oh. you see the width of the you have to play around with this I First I put 0 here, then I put negative 2, negative 4, negative 6. You could use a font that the spacing should be in a positive value, not in a negative value. But for me it's minus 6 pixels. Actually, since I created this, um, I've created this uh, image, it means that I could have made it smaller and there would be no need to put this in a negative value but whatever then if we come to the draw event and we are going to draw the moves so first the y position of the I created the background the moves were at the same position as the bar so this makes things easier for us and all we have to do is to uncheck this Actually, I'm going to delete all this. We don't need that part. And we want to say draw text at the X position is in my background is 86 pixels. But the Y position is the same as the bar Y position. So we set Y bar position. And we don't need moves. We only need global moves. All right. Then what I'm going to do is we have a glow. So this glow does not work anymore. We have our new glow. Right. So in here, uh, see, let me show you something cool. I'm going to draw the glow only we, when we are moving. So we'd say draw sprite here when this is moving. You want to say draw sprite, sprite glow. So image zero here you want to change this to be 20 sorry times 20 it's basically the same thing as here all right everything seems to be oh, we don't need all this part all right great and in the game you see i've changed the tiles to have round tiles too. So I have just selected some round tiles and placed them right here. This is nothing special. All right, so before this draw text, you want to say draw set font moves font, which we initialize in the create var in the creation event. Then draw set uh, horizontal align far center draw, draw set vertical align far middle then we draw the text itself 
Now, if I run the game, as you see, we're having 15 moves, and this moves only when we destroy some candies. Actually, you, you might not like it. You, you could move it. It's so it's all right. Then, see, I don't know. I, I don't really like it. It's not very good. So I think we'll change it. But well, let's leave it for later. Now let's focus on something else. Now, let's limit the bar itself. So we'd say scale be like this and scale is less than 13. Now, what is this 13? It's what we had here. We could place only 13 middle parts. All right. Then what I'm going to do is come to the object candy and here we are going to add a new variable. Actually, we already have it. It's here. Angle is zero. What is this used for? All right. So we're using it here. Good. So we set the starting angle to be 70. Then in the draw event, so we'd say if angle is bigger than zero, angle minus equals 10. Actually, we can change this to be five. Or let, let, let it be 10. Now if I run the game, see, I want you to see how cool is this. Now what happens is when we create a candy, it starts rotating, you see? And this looks very good. And one thing I forgot to mention is I deleted the left released. We don't we don't need it anymore because we're using the dragging event instead of the step event to do our things. All right, so we could go on, but I want to give room to you guys. So I want to know uh, what you guys think of this game, what you you guys want to add to the game, except for the menus and for the leveling and everything else because this part, uh, the next part would be uh, if you guys have new opinions I will be doing that if not then we are going to jump into leveling and everything else so feel free to leave a comment telling me what you think is exciting to be in the game and I'll be trying to uh, turn them into reality. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.